Hi everyone, my name is Jamie Lawyer, and I'm the Chief Experience Officer at the Rube Museum of Art, located in New York City, a museum that's dedicated to Himalayan art and ideas. We're coming to you at such a difficult time in our lives that's impacting our entire global communities, with the hope that the paintings and sculptures in our collection can help you navigate the changes that are happening within you and in the world around you. So every day that the museum was supposed to be open from Thursday to Monday, we'll be providing you a daily offering. We'll take a look at a work of art, provide a small practice ranging from a meditation to a musical performance. And lastly, leave you with a thought that you can take with you throughout your day. This week, meditation teacher Kate Johnson helps us understand how we can use breathing and our bodies to help us navigate the changes that are happening inside us and in the world around us. Let's take a look at this work of art together. Here we see Milarepa, the famed poet and yogi, seated here with his body slightly tilted towards one side, his hand to his ear cupped in a gesture of listening, and his mouth slightly parted and his eyes calm. Milarepa has a fascinating story that shows moments of despair, of triumph, and the power of overcoming negative emotions and obstacles in one's life. From a young age, Milarepa learned black magic in order to exact revenge on those who harmed his family. And it said he once cast a spell which resulted in the murder of 35 people, including his very own aunt and uncle. Young Milarepa was horrified by his actions and felt the need to repent. And he went out looking for a Buddhist teacher who could help him calm his mind and find a new way of being. And one day, he met the famous translator Marpa. But Marpa tested Milarepa to make sure that his mind was pure, his intentions were pure, and his karma could be purified so he would be able to receive the teachings of Buddhism that Marpa would provide him. And after many tests, Milarepa persevered, proved himself time and time again, and Marpa decided he was worthy of his teachings. Milarepa's tests and knowledge he gained from Marpa would later be translated into songs, and followers of Milarepa would listen to them, hear of his visions, and learn a new way to cleanse their minds and lead a better life. Here we see Milarepa listening to the echo of his own voice that was traveling from the mountains and back. And when I think of what that experience must feel like, I try to imagine the idea of embracing an act of listening so radical that it changes your perspective, that can transform the ways in which you relate to yourself and connect with those around you. Inspired by the gesture of listening, as we see in Milarepa, meditation teacher Kate Johnson leads us in a practice which shows us how we can listen to our environments and the world around us a little bit differently. Hi, I'm Kate Johnson. I'm a meditation teacher, and I'm here today to offer you a practice inspired by this um, incredible image of Milarepa. Um, Milarepa in this image has a hand cupped by his ear. He's listening kind of with his whole body and he's embodying the joy that is actually possible um, and the peace that is possible through a practice of deep listening. So in meditation, we use all kinds of what we call objects to pay attention to as a way to gather and unify our minds. Sometimes it's a feeling of breath. Sometimes it's an image. Sometimes it's a mantra or centering thought or um, aspiration that we say to ourselves. Uh, today, we'll be using another classic object for meditation, and that object is sound. It's uh, a way of placing our attention at the sense gate of our ears and letting our ears become receptive, just like Milarepa's hands, so that we notice in the field of our awareness, the coming and going of sound as vibration. And 
We try not to get too uh, attached to one, pulling it in or, or, or hating another, pushing it away, but opening our awareness to all sound um, and letting it kind of come and go in this, in this uh, awake field. So if you'd like to give that a try, uh, please go ahead and find your comfortable meditation seat now. Could also be lying down or standing. If it's available to you, please close your eyes or lower them to the space in front of you. Just take a few moments to breathe deeply, connect with the space that you're in right now, and then let your awareness move to the sense gate of your ears and hover noticing the vibrations of sound that are present around you now. You may notice the ambient sounds in the room. The hum that's actually available in a quiet space. Or maybe you can hear wind rustling or a car running by or a neighbor's kids playing upstairs. Notice the way in which these vibrations of sound come and go. and see if it's possible to widen your awareness to such a degree that it's undisturbed by the comings and goings of sound. Burn your awareness to the sound that's being generated closest to you. And now bring your awareness to the sound that is farthest away from you right now. And finally, notice how it feels to have such a wide open receptive awareness in this moment. And see if you can move your body into an expression of that openness. What it feels like to be listening to the world with a sense of ease and even joy. Once you find the shape that expresses what it feels like in your body, stay there for a moment, letting it soak in. And then when you're ready, go ahead and let the gesture dissolve. Take a couple deep breaths. Open your eyes, look around the space you're in, and notice how you feel now. So I hope our practice today, inspired by Milarepa's listening, is supportive to you. There's certainly a lot of change that's happening right now, and we can hear it going on all around us and within us. So if ever it feels overwhelming, um, here's a centering thought or aspiration you can say to yourself, May I keep calmly knowing change. Thank you so much for your practice. Um, please drop us a line in the comments below. Um, stay connected with us during this time. And we'd love to stay connected with you too. Take good care.